Hello and good afternoon guys. Welcome to MK Communions Brokerage. My name is Mohammed. In this video, I'm going to go over the MAD CSC test preparation guide in New York City. Uh, for those of you that are trying to uh, take the CST test for math, I'm going to give you small insight on what you need to do and what you need to learn. Um, always remember certain things. Uh, you need to know what questions going to be asking from. So they're going to be asking a question from rational numbers. You need to know what irrational numbers are. You need to know what integer exponents is, rational exponents. You need to learn all these things. These are some of the things they give you. For example, uh, they give you a question such as this. If Nicholas is helping to paint a wall at a park near his house as part of a community service project, he had painted half of the wall yellow when the park director walked by and said the wall is supposed to be painted red. Nicholas immediately started painting over the yellow portion of the wall. By the end of the day, he had repainted 56 of the yellow portion red. What fraction of the entire wall is painted red at the end of the day? So now, you ha now obviously, this is not just a regular question. This is technically a math question. They're trying to ask you what fraction is painted red. So now you have to understand what a fraction is. If you don't, you're not going to know. So that's where the basic part is. Question number two gives you somewhat similar. Historically, different people have defined a year in different ways. For example, an Egyptian year is 365 days long. A Julian year is 365 14 days long, and a Gregorian year is 365.2525 days long. What is the difference in seconds between a Georgian year and a Julian year? What is a percentage person decrease to the nearest thousand of a person from Julian year to a Georgian year? Obviously, you need to know all this. And how many fewer days there are 400 years of Georgian calendar days that are 400 years of the Julian calendar? Uh, again, you need to know how it is. You need to know converting charts from seconds to minutes, minutes to hour, divided by. Obviously, you need to know how many minutes are in a second and how many um, hours in a minute and everything like that. So t the CST is quite uh, tedious with math portion. You need to brush up your math skills um, in order for you to do that. And obviously, if you do that, then you'll start to learn everything, what, what how everything is and what you have to do. But other than that, if you don't, you know, if you don't brush up your math skill, you end up forgetting everything. Uh, for me, math was one of the best uh, best part. I loved math. I still love it. And, you know, I always wanted to learn more about it, understand it. It, it you know, it's, it's something that makes me think. You know, like I, li I like I like thinking. I like I like using my brain. So, again, if you know all this and you like word problem questions, um, then this is it. Word problem are always this, like what of the, the thing about the word problem math question is the half of the story you don't need to know. You need to know what are they asking you. You know, they, they ask you this and you just go with that. If they ask you something else, then you go with that. But most of the time, the word problem question they're asking you, the, the whole story is going to be because you're not writing an essay. You're just solving the problem. So the whole essay is going to be technically useless. I mean, unless they give you hints and details on what it is. But otherwise, most of the time, the essay is useless. So whenever you, you read the essay, like, what is this? Like, you know, it doesn't make sense. Like, what does it have to do with math? In your mind, you're going to be thinking. But in the end of the day, you just want to solve. They ask you, like, what do, you, what do they want you to do? In the end of the prob prob problem the, of the story, they tell you, like, what do they want you to do? And then you just fill it out. And then you just have to do it. And you finish from there. So that's how simple it is. For some reason, they just write the whole story. That's kind of like wasting time for the person that's taking the test. But I, I, have to, I try to ignore that. That's another skill, just ignoring that part and trying to read the part that they really want you to solve the question. And obviously, the, some of the answers, sometimes you could see the answers. It's just coming right in front of you. I, I like to double check some of my answers as well to see if did I do it right, if you have obviously enough time. Um, with that being said, that's about it. Thank you again, guys, for watching this short video. Obviously, if you, I will make future videos more math problems and everything. Uh, if you do guys have any other questions, comment, concern, please comment, like, subscribe. I'll try my best to help you as much as possible to clarify any confusion you guys have. Thank you again, guys, for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it.